one time Eddie did something so bad that my dad told him to go upstairs to his room. And I remember my dad walking up the stairs and taking off his belt. All I can say is I can still hear the screams. That scared me straight. <laughs> Eric and I turned uh, into straight arrows. Uh, we stayed on the right path. <coughs> we made sure we didn't do anything that deserved the belt. <laughs> Dad was the best father for us. He always tried to lead us in the right direction with the right amount of discipline. Um, thanks, Eddie, for taking that taking discipline. <laughs> <coughs> Dad was a, a man of few words. He didn't say that he loved us when we were growing up. But we knew he loved us every day by his actions. His love language was definitely not words. I remember the one time that he said that he loved me. He said, I love you, Jay, but you got to clean the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year. <laughs> his love language was service and gifts. We knew he loved us with the daily service he gave to mom, the kids, grandkids. All, all our needs. And Dad's favorite thing to do was to watch his grandkids dance, uh, dance recitals, baseball games, basketball games, soccer games. He was so proud of you guys. Even though he was in pain in the later years, he would always attend, be early for the performance, with no complaint. It was his joy to see his grandkids perform. He started to get uh, very strict with his diet, exercise, medication in the later years because he wanted to see you guys um, graduate from college. Thank you, Dad, for everything. We, we will see you again. To the last days of Dad's life, there was a choice to continue to provide medical care or comfort care, and it's the toughest decision to make for your loved ones. Mom wanted to continue <coughs> medical care when most wanted comfort care for dad. I hope no one was hurt by her decisions. Mom was holding on and she wanted to spend an extra week, an extra day with dad. I mean, who could blame her? She married a Narvaez man. <laughs> a day with a Narvaez man is more precious than gold. <laughs> by the way, here's my brother Eric. Uh, he's still single. <laughs> tremendous work ethic and a can-do attitude. He never wanted to hire anyone to do the job, so he got his kids involved in his work. He wanted to, he always wanted us to learn how to fix things, run the house so we could save money. My brothers and I definitely learned a lot on how to, how to fix up and, mean, and maintain houses. My dad could not fi figure it out. He would get a how to fix it bug from the library and do research on it. Whenever his sons were around, he always had a project for us, especially me, during his later years. If there was ever any problems with the rentals, he would give me a call because Eddie was in Irvine and Jay was in Maryland at the time. My dad would pay me back by cooking a meal before and after the project. <laughs> I liked doing these projects with my dad because we got to work together as a team. He always seemed to have, have um, solutions for any problems we ran across. my dad got older, his mind still wanted to do projects, but his body could not keep up, especially after four heart attacks. That's 
what when I became his his strength he hands. He pretty much put me through the meat grinder as he got older, but that was all right. I would do anything for my dad. Even to the end, he completed his last project. I love you, Miss Dad. Second, uh, well, my mom heard a, a thump, and then my dad uh, faced down in the, in the fireplace. <clears throat> she called 911, the damage survived, and my father regained consciousness, and uh, was talking, was alert, and um, couldn't move his left side yet. Later that night in the hospital, uh, he had a second stroke. Doctors believe the second stroke was, was massive and they were preparing us for the worst. But he continued um, his hard work ethic in, in his therapy and he got better. He got so much better that he was able to be transferred to a skilled nursing facility to get even more physical therapy. Uh, but after the second night in, in the nursing home, his condition changed. He was believed to have a third stroke. He was no longer responsible and alert, but he was physically very active and very strong. His right side. The next day, his condition fell even worse, and he was transferred to Kaiser ER. During this week, it was a special time because doctors and staff were very generous and provided great care at home, almost holding on, asking to try this or try that or another 24 hours. And as usual, his brothers and sisters were there with Jimenez, and Tiyabi, Vicky, Becky, Uncle Toto, and Noel, and all the family and family. Stop. He was never alone. And being no, mostly nurses, our dad was cared for very well. The doctor said that they had not seen his time family bonding in years. But this is typical of ours. We finally brought our dad home under comfort hospice care after the 19th day after his stroke. He was among family and friends. I believe it, it would be what he would want. People were laughing, crying, praying, eating. Everyone's together. And the next day, the Lord took. 